welcome back to Fit Kitchen. Chaz and I just got back from doing our grocery shopping for the week and it occurred to me, clients often ask me, what do you eat? And I thought, what better way than just to show you a week's worth of groceries and also a couple of the basics that I prepare to get me through the week so that we're never caught without any food. So, let's get started. I'll show you my kitchen and then maybe you'll show me yours. For starters, your basics. Lots of onions, garlic, potatoes, everything by the way. We buy almost everything organic and as much as we can local. Um, so here we have some navy beans which are soaking. Tomorrow I'm going to cook these. I'll cook them up with a little uh, jalapeno. And so then we'll have a nice basic carbohydrate source. Uh, avocados for healthy fats. We try to always have those on hand. Fruits, we've got this week um, apples and peaches are coming into season, so we've got those. And we love our bananas. We go through a lot of bananas, as you can see. Uh, over here, I actually have a chicken stew that's going in my crock pot. So that's going to be one of our basics for the week, so that anytime we're hungry, you open the refrigerator and there you've got chicken stew sweet potatoes, wonderful carbohydrate source, and really high in vitamins and minerals. And then this is a cooked version of one of our favorite dishes. It's uh, sweet potatoes with a little bit of garlic, uh, salt, olive oil. Today I put some orange juice on it, cooked it for a while, and broiled it. So again, this is like a really quick snack. It's always available. Um, glass containers, I want to mention this. So it's really better if you can start getting away from plastic containers because some of those chemicals leach into your foods, um, whether if the food's hot or when it's in the freezer. So start to work your way towards having more glass containers. And we keep, you know, dried cranberries, raisins, quinoa. So it's nice to keep your grains um, in a in a nice sealed dish like this so that you don't get those little moths olive oil, always got to have that on hand, and balsamic vinegar. And then because we eat lots of just fruits and vegetables and whole grains, you really need to have some good spices to spice up your food. And it doesn't add anything detrimental to your health. And in fact, a lot of spices actually add to your health. For instance, cinnamon helps to balance your insulin and turmeric fantastic anti-cancer. I mean, it just goes on and on what spices can do for you. Sea salt, cashew butter, apple cider vinegar, brown rice pasta, another good staple for filling up. More nuts, walnuts, pine nuts, coconut butter. This doesn't have to be refrigerated. A lot of amazing health benefits in coconut. Um, I don't buy very many prepackaged things, but I thought I'd try this granola because all it is is sprouted organic buckwheat and organic flaxseed. So, you know, no added sugars. It hasn't been highly processed at all. So um, I'm just going to give that a try. But in general, you can see we don't do a lot of prepackaged stuff. Try to eat as close to the earth as we can. The refrigerator. Brown rice milk. Goat milk kefir. Great for keeping the probiotics. Good for your digestive system. Really important. More um, nut butters. Those that have already been opened are in the refrigerator so they don't go rancid. And your basic a um, little bit of sunflower oil, various types of vinegar, brown rice vinegar, butter. Pasture butter, really high in conjugated linoleic acid and omegas 3s. This is great for you. Goat's milk feta to add a little bite to your kale salad, <laughs> if you know about. Plenty of yogurt. We Again, we prefer goat milk because it's a easier protein to digest. Fish oil, very healthy. Take some of that every day. Our bread, because we eat gluten-free, we, we have uh, gluten-free versions, millet bread and a raisin pecan. 
brown rice tortillas, regular brown rice, oranges are still in season here. Um, here I've cooked up some hard boiled eggs so that they're ready to go. So again, whatever we can do to be, have food on hand early. Cucumbers, ginger, lots of kale, four heads of kale, a little um, watercress, carrots and celery, basics that you're always going to need, plenty of lettuce. Then we've got our freezer, our little green blend, powdered greens, very high in probiotics, phytochemicals, a little extra bread. This is for the dog. Love your pet. Chopped free-range buffalo and venison. Uh, she eats a raw diet, which is good for her. A few extra um, wild frozen berries. It saves on money when you can't get them during the rest of the year. That's our kitchen. That's pretty much what we're going to eat most of this week. All right, so there you guys have seen it. You've seen what Teresa and I try to keep in our house. We do our best to keep our house clean. We try to have whole healthy foods in the home as natural as possible, keeping the junk out of the house to avoid temptation. And that leads me to another point. Over the years, I've had a lot of my clients say, yeah, which has, that's all well and good, but you don't have kids. You know, my kids need to eat this and that. Well, I, I have to disagree. And this might sting a little, but think of it this way. What did your grandparents eat when they were children or their grandparents? They weren't, eating, they weren't eating junk, they were eating things like this, whole foods, healthy foods. So my challenge to you all is get your kids off the junk, get the processed garbage out of your house, ditch the excuses, and live a healthier life because you know what? Your health is priceless. Thanks for joining us in Fit Kitchen. Have a great day. Have a healthy day. Huh.